Hi guys, it's Grandma. Time for a story. Because it's kind of a dreary day today, Grandma decided to read a silly story. So I hope you like this one. It's called The Ring That Went Zing. A story that ends with a kiss. It's by Sean Taylor and the illustrator is Jill Horton. Once upon a time, once and never again, just once, a frog and a chicken fell in love. The frog wasn't rich, but he'd been saving up, and now he hopped to the jeweler's shop to buy the chicken the loveliest thing he could find. When she saw him, the chicken sighed, oh, You're so handsome. It makes my heart go beep bap bop. When, and the frog replied, I love you from your blinking eyes to the tips of your double quick toes. And this, my dearest darling pie, is for you. It was a golden ring. But the frog was so jumpy with excitement and the chicken was so woozled with love they dropped that the ring. The frog went after. The chicken followed on the tips of her double quick toes and the ring skipped away. But don't worry, the story will still end with a kiss. Along the way, a swan was jogging, so they hollered out, Please, stop that ring! The swan looked around and gave it a stab. She zigzagged with a backward grab, but the ring went zing and bounced away. Hop on, called the swan. We'll stop that ring. So the frog and the chicken hopped on. Along the way, a rabbit was trying tricks, so they hollered, please stop that ring. Diving catches were the rabbit's style, but his diving catch missed by a, by a mile. The ring went ping and flipped away. Leap on, called the rabbit. We'll stop that ring. So the frog, the chicken, and the swan leapt on. Along the way, a goat was peddling, so they hollered out, Please stop that ring. The goat saw something whirr with a whiz, but it came so fast she got in a tiz. The ring went ding and spun away. Climb on, called the goat. We'll stop that ring. So the frog, the chicken, the swan, and the rabbit climbed on. Along the way, a sausage dog was singing, so they hollered out, Please, 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 stop that ring. The sausage dog looked like he knew what to do. In fact, in actual fact, he hadn't a clue. The ring went ding and sprang away. Jump on, called the sausage dog. We'll stop that ring. So the frog, the chicken, the swan, the rabbit, and the goat jumped on. They raced, they chased, they stretched, they perched. They hurried, they scurried, they swerved, they lurched. But the ring just kept rolling away. And there's the ring rolling away. On it bounced to the town square. Then it, up it twisted and down it dropped. Up it flicked and down it plopped into a spouting fountain. See it right up top there. 
It stopped, puffed the dog, frog. Up on top, huffed the dog. Now this story will never end with a kiss, sighed the swan. Unless we try our best to do this, chimed the chicken. So the goat climbed on the dog. The swan climbed the goat. The rabbit climbed the swan. The chicken climbed the rabbit. The frog climbed the chicken. And he, frog, hopped onto the fountain. The frog flopped this way. Rolled by the rush, the frog spun that way, sucked by the gush. His friends went up on tippy toes to see, but they quivered, they teetered, they toppled in a tumble down heap. It could have been the worst disaster the town square had ever seen. Instead, it was the biggest burst of laughter the town square had ever heard, because there on top was the frog with the gleaming golden ring. It's amazing what a frog in love will do. My lovely little coochie coo, said the frog. What I did, I did for you. He gave the chicken her golden ring, and everyone started to dance and sing. The frog and the chicken danced cheek to cheek. They danced toe to toe. They dance mouth to beak. And you probably think that's the kiss to end the story. But it's not. Because look. <laughs> the end. <laughs> that was kind of silly, wasn't it? Kind of a crazy story for a crazy day. Well, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great night. I love you guys. Miss you. I'll be seeing you soon with another story. Love you.